welcome back now in this video right down in here we will create another card in which we will implement the comment section so from there the user can simply comment on that specific job to let the owner know about his job remarks or anything that the user will write and comment down in the comment section and also we will implement two icon button so right in this video we will work on that right down in here but before that I will simply go back and literally now we are logged in by the Tony Stark account okay guys if you guys remember I will simply go and upload a new job so that you guys know that we just upload another job from the other account so I'll go with the business and job title is gonna be Tony Stark Business Company you can give whatever you want right in the title so the description gonna be want a business manager with the experience of five years in marketing so there's going to be the description and take it down and here we will choose the deadline date I'll go with the 30 August click OK so we just fill all the fields as you guys can see right in here now I will simply post it so click in here the task has been uploaded as you guys can see the message right in here now we will go towards the job screen and here we go with the Tony Stark business company and there is the owner description title and there you go with the profile so now you guys know we upload another job from the other account from the Tony Stark and that's the result right in here so now if I open that job as you guys can see the recruitment right in here because Tony Stark is the owner of this job he uploaded that job and literally we are now online from this account whose name is Tony Stark that's why you guys can see that recruitment right in here he has the authority to on and off this job because Tony Stark is the owner of this specific job okay now go back I will open that Zan Malik job okay and in here you guys can see the recruitment because Tony Stark is not the owner of this specific job because this job belongs to Zan Malik and he is the owner of this specific job okay so whenever the Zan Malik will online he will only see his recruitment okay so I hope you can get the idea now now we will go back and I have already explained this in detail right in the previous video now let's go and open any of the job we will start working right on the comment section as I told you before right in the start of this video so let's start working on that so below this padding we will have another padding as I told you before we will create another card remove this for now we will just add it in a while in here comma and tag this down and I have the padding as in sec as usual we will go with the dot all then I set this to 4.0 and tag this down and I have the child right in here now we will have that card right in here so we will set the color first color is gonna be black 54 okay now take this down child again gonna have the padding right in the padding let's set the add insect as usual this time we'll go with the dot all again and gonna set this with add point on now child gonna have the column widget take this down gonna 
set the property cross axis alignment we're gonna set this right to start so in here cross axis alignment dot start we will go with this one now right after we're gonna have the children right in here take this down in here we will have a animated switcher so there will be kind of animation so in here we will say animated we will go with the switcher one there we go okay this is gashing now it is going to take the duration we will set this just in a while in here comma first and take this down set the duration we will set it to we will say milliseconds and then set it to 500 as you guys can see now we will go right at the top and gonna declare the bool type is coming so we will have that right at the top right above in here we will say bool type gonna make this private so in here underscore and is coming let's name this commenting okay so this is going to be simply for the commenting and we're going to pass the false as initial there we go now let's go down again so below this duration you will say child and in here we will say underscore is commenting okay so if the user want to comment then in here right in the if we will say row and now right in this row widget we will implement the text field for the commenting okay so in here comma first we will set the property cross axis alignment we're gonna set this to start so in here there we go okay take this down children take it down now you'll have a flexible widget right in here I'm gonna take the child we will remove this one now we will add it just in a while comma in here take this down now we will give the flex to three so basically that flex factor is basically used for this child that we are about to have so if this is gonna be null or zero so that child is gonna be inflexible and determine its own size so that's why in here we set the flags to three now move further so in here we're gonna have that child and we're gonna set tax field in here as I tell you you will create a tax field so right in there it is gonna take some properties so the first one gonna be controller as you guys can see now we didn't implement or let's say create the controller yet for comment controller so we will go now and create that comment controller and we will just have it right in here let's go right at the top and right above in here we will have that so we will say final and I'm gonna say text editing controller there we go gonna name this as is gonna be private and name this as a comment controller in here tags editing controller in here semicolon now we will simply go and use that right down in here controller okay that is fine now let's do some style for that so in here style text style right in there we will set the color color is gonna be we will go with the white and in here comma take this down in here we will set the max length so let's set it to 200 okay for this text field and the keyboard types gonna be text input 
type that one okay dot tax and max line we will set it to six and let's set the decoration now so in here input decoration right in there we will set some properties the first one that we will set fill and we're gonna set this to true like we said in the login and sign up page okay it's a similar working so in here we just set the fill to true and also we will set the color for the fill so in here fill color and we will say team dot of contacts there we go okay now we will say dot scaffold background color there we go with the suggestion put comma tag is down now we will just enable the border so in here enable border there we go now in there we will have the underline input border there we go parenthesis comma in here tag this down now we will say border side and gonna have the border side in here there we go okay in there let's set the color now so color color dot white all fine in here comma now right after let's set the focus border so in here we will say focus border and gonna have the outline input border there we go the suggestion and in here comma take this parenthesis down and in here we will say border side border side right in there let's set the color for the focus border okay so we will set the focus border color right to pink in here comma now we will have another flexible widget right down in here so we will say flexible and take the child we will remove it for now we will just add it in a while so right in there we will say child and can have the column widget right in here right in there and have the children adding the children let's do some padding in here comma and tag this down now let's set the as insect so in here we'll go this dot symmetric and I'm gonna set the horizontal to eight and child now we will have a material button for posting the comment okay so let's have that material button in here and gonna take the on press even for now we will leave this empty and later on we will work on that first we will complete the UI design so below this on press we will set the color for that material button so in here we will say colors we will go with the blue accent and let's set the elevation to zero and shape gonna be rounded rectangle border now turn this tag this down set the border radius right in there so we'll say border radius dot circular and I'm gonna set it to eight in here comma scroll it down and right after below this in here we will say child now I'm gonna have the text for that material button so in there we will say post as I told you before it's gonna be simply for posting the comment so you will name this as a post now we will do some style for that text so as usual text style and in there let's set the color colors gonna be white and let's set the font weight it's gonna be font weight dot ball and set the font size also let's set it to 14 
now this one was for posting the comment now we will create the text button for the cancel okay so what we will do below this padding we will have text button and take the on press and also the channel as you guys can see but now we will remove it and we will just add it in a while so take this down on press even we will leave this empty later on we will work on that first we will complete the UI design so in here child and right in the child you will set the text for the text button so the text is going to be cancel as I tell you okay now I will simply just remove those yellow lines so the code will be clean okay just add it one by one so we just add all of the const modifier and the code is clean now as you guys can see and one more thing guys that's all the working of if as you guys can see in here the question mark okay if the user wants to comment then write in the if we will show all of these that we just implement okay and for now right in here the on press event in here and also in here we just left this empty and we will work on that right in the upcoming videos first we will just complete the UI design as I tell you before for now there's all the working of if as I tell you okay it's commenting 